social media check-in. Let's check in with the questions on Facebook and YouTube. What do you guys got? Okay, Denise Finlay on YouTube asks, I'm a F4 category. My daughter's now 22 years of age, waiting for an interview. Is she still safe from Jamaica? She's in the F4 category and she's 22. It depends on how long the I-130 took to get approved. It depends on when you paid the fees at the National Visa Center. I would need to know more. Okay, the next one comes from Paul Arojo on Facebook. I filed 601-212 waiver last January 31st, 2020. Um, the case is outside normal processing. We did two inquiries and the last one said the case is under extended review. What do you suggest? Uh, unfortunately, you just got to wait it out for those waivers. They're taking over a year. It's a horrible situation what's going on with the waivers, right? Okay, and also on Facebook asks, my I-485 based on vowel was filed June 2020. How long is the processing time? Two years. Vanessa Grace on Facebook, my father is a U.S. citizen who currently lives outside of the U.S. He has an address in the U.S. and he goes there for his doctor visits. I am wondering if the U.S. Embassy would regard him as not um, domiciled in the US, would he need to revive his bank account and sign a paper to say that he is domiciled in the US? Well, he's not domiciled in the US, no matter what paper he signs. You know, domicile is a legal term to like, where do you actually live? He's not living in the US. He's living in another country and he comes to the US to go to a doctor with a green card. So it's a problem. So either he's gonna get a reentry permit where he's going to turn in his green card and get a visitor's visa, which is, you know, probably he's using his green card to visit, not to live here. Hey, Annette Hibbert Bell on Facebook asked, I have a daughter in Jamaica who's disabled. I'm now a citizen of the United States. Is it possible for me to file for her to come to the U.S.? Yes, but it's not going to make it, just because she's disabled, they're not going to make it go fit. Dora explores on Facebook, if a green card holder who has resided with a child in Jamaica for two years, has legal custody, becomes a citizen. Will there be any difference in application and how long will it take to be able to take his child to the U.S.? This person is originally from Jamaica, is a Jamaican citizen, so can they file, can the filing be done in Jamaica? No, you have to file an I-130 in the United States if the child is not living in the United States, even if you're a U.S. citizen, to bring the child to the United States. To live with you in the U.S. when the child enters, the child will become an automatic citizen. Only if you are a U.S. citizen and were residing in the United States for uh, five years over the age of 14 uh, before your child is born, then you can go into U.S. Embassy and just get a U.S. passport. But otherwise, if the child's born after, um, if I'm sorry, if the child's born before you become a U.S. citizen and then you become a U.S. citizen, then you gotta file the I-130 and bring the child up. Anonymous asks, my brother who was my sponsor passed away. My information is at NVC and I've worked steadily for over a year. Do I still need a sponsor? Yeah, you need a substitute sponsor, a close family member. This one's also from an anonymous. I recently got my combo card under VAWA, but I have a pending application I-145. I'm making plans to take a trip for 27 days. Is that too long to stay outside the country? No, less than 30 days is fine. <laughs> Candace Stevenson on YouTube asks, how long does it take for a U.S. citizen to file for their mother and father? Uh, it depends where the mother and father is. If they're in another country, 12 to 18 months. If they're here, hopefully 12 months for an adjustment. Okay, Mike E on YouTube. When do extensions start to count when you file? The day you file. What do you mean extensions for what? Your work permit? You get 180 okay, days okay. past the expiration of your work permit as long as you have a pending, as long as you have a pending work permit. So you get an extra 180 days from the end of your expiration. So let's say your work permit ends today and you filed a month ago. You get 180 days from today. Yakisha, do you hear that? I do. Okay. I do hear that loud and clear. Now I don't. Okay. Okay, I don't either. Okay, right. I thought I was. Just... <laughs> All right, Yakisha Burnett on Facebook asks Can someone on child support marry an undocumented person and still file for their papers? As long as they're paying the child support, yes. Jasprit Singh on YouTube, what is the removal for condition? Please explain. That's when you have a two-year green card and you got to prove you're in a bona fide marriage. They want two bites at the apple, the U.S. government, to prove 
for you to prove that you didn't marry this person just to get a green card, or you paid this person just to get a green card, they want to be able to interview you twice. Once when you get the card, and then two years later. That's why they make you remove the conditions. Okay, Jasper Singh is also asking on YouTube, where can you get the documentation or proof of payment for tickets, tickets that are three to four years or six to seven years ago? Tickets for what? Tickets to the concert? Uh, proof of payment. Which, con which uh, concert? <laughs> Movie tickets? What tickets are we talking about? Speeding tickets? Uh, is there some kind of documentation or proof of payment, like receipt? I, if you're talking about like a ticket in a court, you got to go to the court. I'm not sure what tickets they're talking about. Okay. The next one comes from Abdel Eluanas on YouTube. My I-130 case was approved, but recently they reopened it for reconsideration. What does that mean? That means that if it was approved and they're reconsidering it, they may now deny it or give you annoyed and give you reasons why they think they're going to deny it and give you an opportunity to rebut it. Okay, Mariella Alexander on YouTube asks, I have an approved prima facie from September to February and an approved prima facie from September 2020 to February 2021. No final decision has been made on the case for VAWA, but an extension of will be received within 60 days of the expiration date. Now, what does this mean and how long will it take to make the final decision? Gonna, I played, applied for a VAWA in March 2019. You're gonna wait a while more. You're gonna wait well into next summer. Keep filing the extensions for the prima facie. Gaurava Aurora on Facebook. I joined my wife on L2 along with our daughter, but my wife entered unprovoked into a temporary restraining order, uh, entered default FRO, denied getting EAD, and even changing status to F1 due to non-cooperation of wife, wife's documents. I started accepting minimum wage jobs to battle in the courts to save my marriage and child on social security number without EAD. The court granted divorce and custody to of my daughter to the wife on April in April of 2010. I applied to B1 status without mentioning a job accepted on you sound like a, this sounds like number. this person sounds like a disaster. They need a consultation. Damien Downer on Facebook asks, my uh, my daughter's in Jamaica and I just got my 10 year green card one year ago. Is it best for me to let her come here and file for her because she has a visiting visa or let her stay in Jamaica? Well, if she comes and visits, she has to come for the intention of visiting. As I always say, you can change your mind 90 days later. Joanne Ferguson on Facebook, how long does an I 130 take to file for my son if he is a citizen? 12 months. And Q on YouTube asks, how long is the processing of an I-485 based on VAWA? Over two years. Last one, Vanessa. Mimi, sorry, on YouTube, what is the I-863 form? How long is the wait for filing it? And how long is the process for an asylum hearing if filing from remaining custody detention. The I-863 is when your asylum application is denied and they're putting you in deportation where you get a second bite at the apple. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.